popped up Lee on location in the car, ready to go to Echo Base Live. I will take you with me, take as much footage, photos, whatever I can. And then at the other end, I shall show you what I've wasted my money on. <laughs> So there is the autograph I picked up from Spencer Wilding. Um, I figured I'd just interject and show this kind of thing as I was going along rather than just put a big hole at the end. Really nice guy. Um, I was lucky enough as well to get a selfie with him. He was charging for selfies but I didn't realise that and rather than it be an awkward conversation he just did a selfie with me for free which was really kind of him. Um, and I'll also include as you'll have seen in the video already Biggins he was there and he got two pops signed which I'll include pictures of now, um, which he sent over to me because they didn't really show up too well in the um, video that I took. But really great to see Big Indy again. Uh, let's get back to the video. So I bought that, um, wasn't planning to, um, not a figure collector, but these are on the table, I think they were 12 quid each, this one didn't have a price on, that's why I had it picked up in the first place, and the guy was, what's it worth to you? Um, I wasn't, that's a couple of quid, he said four pound, and I thought, you know what, he's one character who, if I ever see anything of, I would pick up anything, I love, love the character, I have done since I was a child, um, I'm going to get into it and rip it open, because I don't really want the, all the guns that comes with it, I just want the little figure. There he is, super cool num num. So he will go probably up with my Return of the Jedi poster, which is off camera up there. Um, but I obviously I've got the autograph from Mike Quinn from a couple of years ago. Yeah, cool.
couple of other pickups that I did get. I picked up the Echo Bass Live magnet. I just thought, I'm going to say it now, really, really cool event. Um, so many stalls. I've been to Comic Cons with less stalls, and the fact that it was all Star Wars was brilliant. But I picked that one up. That was just £4. I also picked up a poster pack. You got the four posters from the Disney Plus series, which I have opened, and I'll show you individually quickly. So you got the Mandalorian poster, Book of Boba Fett poster, Obi Wan Kenobi poster, and also the Andor poster. Probably my favourite out of the four. I just thought these were really cool. Uh, four for ten pound, A3 posters. They look really cool framed. The aim is to eventually sort out the rest of the loft and sort these posters out here. They're glaring away, but. I can't help angles. I did get another poster as well. These were just free that they were given out uh, from The Last Jedi. But even if it wasn't the best film, I have a few of these kind of posters. They were doing them um, when I went to Star Wars. I'm trying to think what it's called. Return of the Garrison at the Space Center. They had some of these. So I've actually probably got the full set of these now. Just really nice color, really nice pop to them. So I'll find space for that somewhere. But excellent day really enjoyed it i say day i only i was there for maybe a couple of hours uh, but that was enough for me to get around it got really really busy for a free event uh, yeah fantastic like i said i've been to comic cons with less so look forward to going to echo base again next year um if you went and you found this video through that let me know in the comments what you thought but if not if you're just one of my usual viewers um always appreciate you watching and chat away in the comments that's what it's all about for me um until the next one look after yourself and bye for now bye Thank you.